had a very three for each not, two of my own, two ones not. Um, both of these I wrote uh, this past couple days while I was down at my dad's in Alabama. And, uh, I, well, no, never mind. One of them I already wrote, but one of them I wrote the past couple days. This one's called Purified Scum. Somehow, I think I'm better. For some reason, I think I'm pure. But I'll be no better than the scum of the earth when the earth power rain up on shore. My heart can be one of love or hate, and my mind is one of sorrow. But I'll never have hope because she is a beggar and a dirty little whore. <laughs> She'll grasp on tightly to every last phantom of your will until you can go on no more. I have the heart and mind of a badger that procrastinates in his den to be involved and succeed in the world he hates because he feels it could be better than this. This world could be better than a dirty little whore. Alright, that's it. Are you going to do the one you told me about? No, dude. Please. No, 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 no. It'd make me feel better. I bet it would, but I'm not going to do it. All right. This one's called Black Hole. When I die, I want my cosmic energy, my soul, to go into a black hole. I always wondered if that's how you actually get to heaven, because that would be an awesome way to go. That's the way I would want to go. I want to float around, around in space and get sucked like the noodle into a universal mouth to take me to the next life. Take me into the future in a drunken state of bliss with the dead stars of light. The galaxy sucked up as the blood of the universe. The living stars are the eyes. Take my soul away to the black holes to be taken away to the ultimate experience of the afterlife. But that's black holes. Alright, this, uh, the, the last one I'm going to read is, uh, the one that's not mine. It's, uh, it's, uh, I got this book last night, uh, from a Barnes and Nobles, and it's of one of my favorite poets, uh, Charles Bukowski. And, uh, uh there's a poem in here I wanted to read of him. Because, you know, he's totally, was never a jerk. A total cool guy. It's called Hunger. I have been hungry many times, but the particular time that I think of now was in New York City. And I was standing before the plate glass window of a restaurant. And in that window was a roasted pig, eyeless with an apple in its mouth. Poor damned pig, poor damned me. Beyond the pig inside there were people sitting at tables, talking, eating, drinking. I was not one of those people. I felt the kinship with the pig. We had been caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. I imagined myself in the window, eyeless, roasted, the apple in my mouth. That would bring a crowd. Hey, not much rump on him. His arms are too thin, and I can see his ribs. I walked away from the window. I walked to my room. I, I still had a room. As I walked to my room, I began to conjecture. Could I eat some paper, some newspaper, roaches? Maybe I could catch a rat, a raw rat. Peel off the fur and remove the intestines, remove the eyes, and frigo the head the t and the tail. Now, I die of some horrible rat disease. I walked along. I was so hor I was so hungry that everything looked edible. People, fire plugs, asphalt, wristwatches, my belt, my shirt. I entered the building and walked up to the stairway to my room. I sat in a chair. I didn't turn on the light. I sat there and wondered if I was crazy because I wasn't doing anything to help myself. The hunger stopped then, and as I just sat there, then I heard two people in the next room copulating. I could hear the bread springs and the moans. I got up, walked out of the room, and back onto the street. Well, I walked in a different direction this time. I walked away from the pig in the window. I thought about the pig and decided that I'd die first rather than eat that pig. It began to rain. I looked up. I opened my mouth and let in the raindrops, soup from the sky. Hey, look at that guy, I heard someone say. Stupid son of bitches, I thought. Stupid son of bitches. I closed my mouth and kept walking.